Look, Hoorish fam, at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of these goddamn hoodies. So when you purchase a hoodie, you will be receiving the Travel Hacking Off the Swipes ebook, the Shelf Corporation H Corp Secrets ebook, all three for $39.99. Y'all tap in, link under the description for the website. Go. What's good, Hoorish fam, man? It's your boy Hoorish Credit back here again with another fucking thing, man. You feel me? Look, Hoorish fam, I'm in the back porch right now. I'm just catching some fresh air, looking at the birds chirp. And, you know, just, you know, breathing in some air. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling great. But look, Harish fam, I wanted to drop some quick sauce real quick. Uh, I got a very specific question in my Instagram DMs from one of y'all that I really wanted to answer on a video. And one of y'all asked me, okay, look, Harish, I've already obtained some business credit cards. Should I start stacking on the personal side as well? And let me give y'all some quick sauce on that. Yes, yes. If you guys want to obtain some personal credit cards as well and, you know, leverage them, then by all means, go for it. And the reason why I say that, because some of y'all might get confused on my channel, I always tell y'all, only you only wanna obtain business credit cards. You only wanna apply for business credit cards to leverage whatever business you're trying to get into. And yeah, that's the best route. But what I want y'all to understand as well is that on the personal side of credit, they have some good ass offers, some good 0% interest offers for um, more than 12 months because when I look at business credit cards, the majority of them are 12 months, six months, eight months that you can leverage and really bust some plays. But on the personal side, I'll be seeing some juicy ass offers from sometimes even up to two years of not paying interest on purchases and balance transfers. Okay, y'all, so on the personal side, if I'm being honest with y'all, I've been seeing some better offers than on the business side. So I can see why you guys wanna obtain some personal swipes as well. But what I want y'all to keep in mind is that when you guys are obtaining personal credit cards, when you're stacking personal credit cards, if you utilize that personal credit card to invest into a certain business that you're trying to get into, now that utilization is gonna fuck up your personal credit. Like let's say you apply, you got approved for a 10K swipe, right? And you use 9K, you ran up that card off a certain business, right? Or business expenses. Now that utilization is going to report causing your credit score to go down and, you know, fucking you up for other applications. Because I always tell you on this channel, um, if you're going to invest with the personal side of credit, you got you guys are going to have to chill out on applications on more applications. Because if you utilized it already, now they're going to see them recent balances and institutions don't like to see high balances on other credit cards to approve you. They're going to deny you. OK, y'all. So. Like I said, if you guys want to invest with personal credit cards, keep in mind that your personal credit is going to take a hit as well. But you don't really got to trip about that because, you know, the, you can always pay down them cards and then, you know, your credit score goes right back up. That way you can personal guarantee for some other business credit cards. So, yeah, man, you can still, you know, apply for personal credit cards, you know, stack business credit cards. What I recommend y'all to do is, Stack business credit cards first though, okay y'all? You wanna stack business credit cards first and then if you want, you can go for the personal swipes because what, I guys, what you guys gotta understand is, let's say you obtain them business credit cards and you utilize them, that utilization is not gonna report to your personal credit, okay y'all? And there's a good amount of business credit cards that, uh, how do I say, they don't report a hard inquiry to your report, it's only gonna be a soft pool. Some that I got in mind, I got, let me see, Citizens Bank. Citizens Bank is gonna do a soft pull on your, hold on, hold on, y'all. Okay, like I was saying, right off the dome, what I have in mind that will do a soft pull on the business side, you got Citizens Bank. What else you got? You got NIHFCU, soft pull on Equifax. You got, what else? You could get the GM Rewards business credit card with without a hard inquiry. They are gonna, you know, hard pull your credit report, but what you can do is freeze all of your bureaus and then accept the offer. Um, there's another one, man. Capital One Tap. They're not gonna check your, uh, your personal credit. Well, they are gonna check your personal credit, but they're not gonna report a hard inquiry. And then, I think that's all I have in mind right now, right off the dome. I know there's other institutions, but like I said, with them business credit cards, first of all, the account is not gonna report to your personal credit. So you got time to stack on the personal side, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So the accounts are not gonna report, and on some business credit cards, not even the hard inquiry is gonna report, okay, y'all? Another example, 
the Navy Fed business credit card, okay, y'all? The, I mean, well, the inquiry is gonna report to your experience, but you can still sweep it off because it's not attached to an open account. Like, there's so many loopholes to the credit game that gets me excited. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm just giving y'all, you know, the sauce. But like I was saying, the business credit cards are not gonna report to your personal credit and the hard inquiry is not gonna report. So now you have time to stack on a personal side of credit, okay, y'all? You got time to stack on a personal side of credit because let's say you were gonna go for personal credit cards first. After three to four weeks, the account is gonna report to your personal credit, right? And most institutions, when it comes to personal credit cards, they're gonna report a hard inquiry, okay, y'all? Unless you do little loopholes, like for example, with the Apple card, you you know get the offer first and then freeze all three of your credit reports and then accept the offer that way you don't get that hard inquiry reported but you still got a window of like three to four weeks for the account to post on your credit report okay y'all so keep that in mind there's a lot of loopholes in the credit game but like i said you can stack personal credit cards you can go for personal credit cards but what i recommend y'all do is go for the business credit cards first then stack on the personal side go for the juicy institutions that offer zero percent interest for 18 24 months so y'all get the point but remember your personal credit is going to take a hit and you're not going to be able to apply for um other credit cards on the business side or personal side because that balance is going to report and you know what i'm saying you're not you're not going to be able to get approved they're going to see them balances and they're going to deny you my bad y'all i'm getting kind of thrown off thrown off concentration with the noises i should have recorded inside but that's the end of the video, Hurry Sham. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed. Y'all have a good day. The Hurry Way, gone.